Okay, Scott, um, we have 9 o'clock here if you want to go. I'm not sure we too. got everybody. Yeah, yeah, we, we've got everybody. Let's okay. go. All right. Um, okay, good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to our January 21st, 2021 uh, special meeting. It should be a relatively quick meeting today. Before we begin, let's uh, please join me in, in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States, 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 States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. for all. Thank you, everybody. Pam, you can take roll. Oh, wow. No. Yes, I know. I almost forgot. Uh, you sure will. President McFarland? Here. Vice President Singer is here. Uh, Mr. Roche? Here. Uh, Treasurer Lauterbach? Here. Member Baker? Here. Member Blazy? Not here. Member Hatfield? Here. Okay, we've got six out of seven. Okay, that's a quorum. Uh, let's move right into uh, number two. I do not believe we have any requests to address the board, but um, we'll just put it out there officially. Do we have any requests to address? We have nobody. None? We have nobody in. So, yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let's move right into what brings us here today. We are at item three point one. This is an action item. Uh, the bond construction bid for district-wide renovations. Mr. Shero. Actually, I'm going to let Brian kind of lead into it. He does such a good job, and then I'll add on. How's that? So, sounds good. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mr. Bruton, please. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Scott. Uh, we bring before you this morning 99% of bid package 21204. I'll talk about the 1% in just a minute here that's going to come to you um, at the next Board of Education meeting. Um, but you can see from your board packet that 21204 is quite an eclectic package with the number of vendors that we're awarding to. It's actually over $4 million of work that will be taking place this summer. Um, it covers a wide variety of items, including interior doors, flooring, uh, gym renovations at Midland High, the bus loop at Jefferson Middle School, some painting, some um, bathroom renovations, and a lot of other miscellaneous type items. And so if you forgive me while I read through these vendors, it's going to take just a bit because there's a lot of them. Um, we'll get into a little bit more detail once I get through. So we are recommending for award this morning in 21204 the following vendors to receive contracts. For General Trades, Three Rivers Corporation, for a grand total of $1,194,560. For Aluminum Entrances, Architectural Glazing Systems, for $497,353. For Painting, Hock Painting, $55,406. For Athletic Floor Refinishing, Floor Care Concepts, for $17,354. For Flooring, we have two awards, um, one to Elite Coatings for a grand total of $358,309, and also DF Floor Covering for $235,940. Lockers goes to Simon's Building Specialties for $301,600. Theater Seating to the Irwin Seating Company for $41,714. Mechanical, we're recommending the Advantage Mechanical Group for $676,500. Electrical to Ted's Electric Service for $192,036. And finally, site work, the recommendation is to Pat's Great All Service for $662,000. For a total award for this component of bid package 21204 of $4,232,772. Um, just a little bit more information on that. This work is largely focused at our four secondary schools, Jefferson Northeast, Midland High, and Dow High. And to hit on the point that I said earlier about the 98%, there is one piece of 21204 that will be coming to you at the next board meeting, which is the swim bleachers over at HH Dow High. Um, we had to rebid that due to a couple of conditions um, with the bleachers, and we want to make sure that we get those right. So that'll be coming to you at a future board meeting. So um, we ask for your approval today for these awards so we can get these contracts out, so we can get working on this very large project for this summer um, for 21204. Low bid in all categories, and um, there was added scope that we'll, we will use some of our um, two-day 
cost savings to add some scope. These some of the same vendors that have that we've been using for recent renovations across the district. Quite a few of them are, John. Um, okay. Fixed theater seating is a new one, a different seating one than we've had in the past, if I recall that right. Um, and we had maybe one other, well, a change in name, I think the mechanical, is that in there, Brian? Yeah, so Advantage Mechanical Group will be a new name, um, a break off of a previous vendor, um, that company that split, so a new name okay. to the company. But everyone else has had work before. Um, you have the uh, locations of them, um, so you can see where, where they come, they're coming from as well. Okay, thank you. Yep. I'll move to approve item 3.1 for action bond construction bid totaling $4,232,772. So Support. Okay, uh, motion made by Pam, support by Phil. Any further discussion um, regarding this item 3.1? Just a quick question on the, the negative variances shown for the mechanical and the site work. Is that elimination of scope or was that the contractor? No, so the contractor on mechanical um, gave a uh, alternate that if he had gotten all locations, he would give us a bid savings. And that oh, okay. did, and, and when we accept that at that, that made him low bidder. Okay. I think that was then, the only negative one. Was there another one, Phil? Uh, just patch grade all for the site work. Crush concrete? Yeah. yeah. Um, so That's that crushed concrete versus limestone. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that, okay, that was in the slide deck. Got Correct. It, yep. Thanks. Okay, any other discussion, guys? In some of the other categories, we got some um, lower numbers per school. I see we did split flooring because there was a current concern of somebody not being able to complete everything, but in aluminum entrances, painting, and epoxy, you have uh, lower numbers from other contractors than the ones accepted when we wrapped them all together. Did we offer or consider to break any of those apart to save the district money, save the taxpayers money? So I think we've had that discussion before. We have n we did not break it apart, and um, I think the issue, Brad, if I recall, when we raised it before, was that's not how the bid necessarily came in and being fair to the vendor. But I, I remember the discussion coming up before, but we did not we did not break those apart. But we did break apart flooring, but we didn't break apart the others. They did because they could not complete the scope yeah. within the time span. And there was also, too, for epoxy, some missed scope for the low bid. Yeah, I saw that. But yes, sir. Murray has a, a lower base on northeast than Elite, and Murray's less than Hawk on, on painting in one of the schools, and one of the glass. Um, the glass one is really the big one. The other ones are so close, it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, the glass one for northeast between AGS and Traverse City is twenty-three thousand bucks. That's not insignificant. That was the one you were talking about breaking it, that we would break, correct? Yeah. 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 We just never have, and and um, I think Barton Mel has given an explanation that from the contractor side, that's not how they bid it, and so they they feel that would um, not be fair to the contract. If I recall, that was the conversation before. Um, but on the flooring and the paint, it was um, they could not do it in the timeline during the summer timeline needed with the amount of painting and flooring. That floor, particularly flooring was occurring, and they don't have the crews to do it, and so they bid all of it. But um, they would have not been able to hit the timeline, so we had to break it. Okay, and along with what Phil said, there was um, there was negatives in the mechanical. There's actually three different ones. There's a BA one, BA two, and BA three. You described VA3 as um, packaging everything together, so it would be, if awarded all, that was the overall reduction. Um, was that a line item on the bid form? It was a or volunteer was alternate from the contractor. Okay. So it was 
something that was a, a line item that William Walter Johnson Wood Reamer and Plumbing just skipped. It's just it's something that they offered above and beyond. Right. If they got all three. It was not a line item in the form that they filled out. Correct. It was something they offered. Okay. What are the other two reductions that they show? They got a, seven, a negative 78,850 and a negative 5,000. Brian, do you, would you see it in environmental stuff? I don't know. I have I that have in front, it in front of me, Mike. We can follow up on that. Yeah, we'd have to send you a follow up. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor of Pam's motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Aye. I'm sorry, Brad, you opposed? Yep. Very good. I don't have the information of what those other deductions are. Perfect. Okay. Motion carries. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, hey, um, Megan, can you make sure that we have the the time Brad entered the meeting because I don't have uh, I didn't see when it came in and I he didn't uh, wasn't there at roll call. Yep, she captures that for you. All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, uh, next up, I will accept the motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Support. Okay. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great Thursday and have a good weekend. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. you too. Bye-bye.